So hello and welcome back guys. So as in this series, I will teach you how to make a Discord bot with JavaScript. So guys, first of all, you will need to install Node.js and you have to at least download the Node.js version 16.6.0 because otherwise the Discord JS library will not work. So guys, after you are done with installing Node.js, install Visual Studio Code or any code editor of your choice because coding in Notepad is quite stupid and you, you totally need one, one code editor according to me at least. So guys, after installing this, you, you just have to go on Discord developer portal. Note, all links will be in the description and in the comment sections, alright? In the comment section, not sections, my bad. Well, after this, you have to click on new application and create a new application. Just add some name and create, well, let me name it something, uh, test, create. Well, to be honest, in the last recording, I forgot to do this, so I'm doing this again. So after you are here, click on bot and click on add bot. And just do it and then just too many users uh, wait I have, to, I have to change the name let's make it as six, lot of numbers lot of numbers will be quite cool so let's go on bot and add a bot yes do it I hope it will work all right so as our bot is created now you just have to click on copy the token well please do not share this token with anyone I just copied it and I'm gonna paste it in my file and we can begin our thing so guys now first of all what you have to do is you have to create a folder where you will do where you will put your code and stuff alright so first of all I'm gonna open my explorer and let's go in new volume E and let discord bots well you can put it anywhere I'm just doing this for sake of organization for organizing my shit I mean my stuff well let's click on folder and name it tutorial bot how to spell tutorial anyways well I did it after, now what you have to do is if you have visual studio code you have to open the folder i mean this this tutorial bot folder there for that i'm gonna do shift right click open powershell window here and then code dot it is quite simple if you ask me and then press enter and bam it is open after that you have to run simple commands for that you have to do control shift tilde or bitwise operator well whatever you call it the key is just below esc uh, the escape key all right so first of all we will do npm init dash y well it is to init or initialize our normal discord package or uh, sorry and node.js package and then we have to do npm i discord.js to import the discord.js module in our pro our program all right so now these three files i mean two files in one directory will come will appear here you can ignore that and then create a folder called call it source and then create a file called index.js so first of all we are gonna import our discord.js library in our code by using the require function so we will do discord.js terminate and then we have to create an instance and client instance so we will name it const client is equals to new client well new discord.client to define a new instance or i should say to create a new instance of the client so guys now we are just gonna add some options well we need to add the intent option cause it is not optional and it is required well what the intent option do is it just tells discord api what kind of events we need well you can just ignore this for now and the main thing we are doing here is we are just creating an, our client and now we just have to log it in and we are ready to go it is quite simple and easy for that we just have to do client.login and we have to provide our token and if you do not know what token is i just told you at the beginning you have to get it from the discord developer portal let well for now we will do process.m.token but if we run this program right now it will give an error because we never defined it we will define it by creating a .env file it will have all our environment variables we will name it token and you just have to pass your token after the equal to symbol uh, well it, uh, you just have to copy and paste it from the developer portal i will do it uh, well i will post it after i stop the recording and before that you have to install this module called npmi.n well this is the command not the module name and then you are going to import it using the following code and then we just have to do little more trick here we have to do dot m dot config and run the function and now what it do is it reads our dot env file and it just add every token well every variable to the process dot m thing well if you are just in copy paste dev you can totally ignore this part and just yank the code from my github repo and well that is totally stupid you shouldn't do it but yeah you can do it it's up to you 
well we just added this ready event well this ready event is whenever our bot is opened or slash is started it will be executed well that means it will lock the client is up thing and we will know that our client is online and by the way the f thing i just used was es6 syntax and we can replace it with function 2 but it is our choice man it is up to you it is just basic javascript thing and i totally hope that you know all of it okay and before running just add this location to your main in package.json file and replace the token please i am back well i added my token in the dot n file and now what we have to do is we have to type no dot in our uh, command prompt and then press enter now our bot should be logging in anytime see client is on so guys this is it our normal well what should i say our basic client is set up now what we have to do is we have to create commands event handlers and stuff we will do all of that in the next episode and maybe next to next episode this is it for this episode and if you liked it then please like and if you need any help feel free to message me on discord or mention me too so that i can know that you are talking to me well this is it i will meet you in the next video for then bye bye